Hello and welcome to Blendon. My name is Andrew Shield, and today we're going to make a vignette in the compositing section. And then when once we've completed the vignette, I will show you how to put some color on the edges of it if you wish to do so. So to start, we're going to add some text first, so we have something to render and line up the camera. So press one to go into front view, five for orthographic. Select the cube, press X and delete it. Shift A, add some text. Rotate it. 90 degrees on the x-axis you can type in here if you want uh, or do rx90 tab into edit mode and write the words that you choose i am going to do blend done and then we're going to convert this to a mesh and um, yes because it's actually right now it's a curve so right click convert to mesh if you're doing a project it would be a good idea to click keep original so that if you mess it up, you can come back to it again. And you put that original in your trash can if you keep one. But I don't need to do that right now. So I'm going to give it a material. Select the material. Click new. And just give it any color. Doesn't really matter. And let's press Z. And go into material mode. Look dev mode. But you can do it from here as well. And now, what we need to do is line up the camera. If you want to line the camera up. If you want to make this center of a center of focus for the camera you select blend on then you select control alt numpad zero and then the camera will be aligned to blend on i can't scroll it in yet because i don't have lock camera to view on yet which is here and you can do lock camera to view but i have mine on quick favorites where you right click and come to quick favorites so i just need to press q and lock camera to view mouse jumping around the place now i can scroll this in to where I want it, maybe right there. Press free to go into right view, select the light, bring it over, and then, in fact, let me change the back of the world background. Come to the world background, change that to white, and then press to render. Now we can go into the compositing, composite, use nodes, press N to get rid of this panel, grab, let's space these out, select that, press G and move it. The first node we want to add is a viewer node which is shift a output viewer and the shortcut for that is you select the node that you want the viewer to be on which is this one and do control shift and left click and there we have the viewer node i like my viewer node to be over here so let me bring it here and now the first thing we want to add is the thing for the vignette so shift a mat some people use a box mask and some people use an ellipse mask. I like ellipse mask. Now let's put the viewer node onto this. So shift, control, left click. And you have this, which is going to serve as the vignette, but it's too small. So we need to change the height. Change this to 0.5. Change the width to 0.9. And if we need to adjust it afterwards, we will. And then shift A again, filter, blur we add a blur node this is what makes the vignette change it from gaussian to fast gaussian check relative click and drag so that it highlights both of them and type 25 and there you have a vignette already but now we need to mix it with the render layers so what we do is shift a color and you can use the alpha over i prefer to use a mix and drag it, let it drop in there and take one from the output from the blur and put it into the image change it to multiply and then control shift and left click and now we have a vignette with the blend on so if you wish to change the color of the outside of the vignette and by the way you can move the screen by pressing Alt and pressing the middle mouse button and moving it. If you, if you wish to make it smaller, you press V. If you wish to make it larger, you press Alt V. So to change, let me make it smaller. So to change the um, outside, the black part, if you wish to, you do Shift A, add a color mix, and drop that right in there. Change the color to yellow or something and then take down the factor 
and there you have your color you can change the color of the outside of it if you wish to do so okay so and if you wish to make this brighter the the white part you can change the value up here if you like change two and it comes brighter but there are many ways you can add an rgb curve but that would be it for now and if this is too much for you you can try to use the y and see what happens if you like that and you can use x which is more but let's say it was here and you wanted to make it wider all you have to do is select these and change that and it will go a bit less and if you want it more and it will be a bit less let's even try 10 and see what it looks like there's your vignette but I personally have it on around 25 and that does good for me so I hope you enjoyed and learned a lot from this and thank you for watching and I hope to see you in another tutorial and I need some subscribers I'm trying to build this channel thank you for watching